playing around with some sensors and some, some inputs, I decided to plug in this little thing, which is this, which is a photocell or a photoresistor. It's really tiny, hard to see, uh, but you look up photocell, photoresistor. They're inexpensive, um, cheap and easy things. They're also not always greatly accurate, but they do a nice thing. I've got the number that it's uh, sending to the micro bit being displayed here on my LCD so we can see what happens. It's basically a light sensor, but it kind of works backwards. The more light there is, the number goes down. So take for what, what that is. Um, I attached it to A0, my analog inputs. It's an analog thing because it's not a zero or a one. It's not an on or an off. It's a whole bunch of numbers. And I attached it using two um, just female to female jumper cables. You always need a whole bunch of jumper cables. So here's this is it's reading that 380 just in my you know my room light right here. If I shine a light into it, you'll see with my phone. I shine a light into it, and we're going to drop down numbers. I can, I've actually got, if I put the light right up to it, you see how low it can go. Um, and then if I cover it up, like completely cover it up, I was able to get close to a thousand. So that's an input you can play with the light values to say, you know, if this number drops below this or goes above this, do this that kind of thing um i don't know why it's not getting up to i had, I had seen like 950 before when i had covered it up but uh, uh sometimes they wire these things directly in because they are resistors so they're you know lowering current flowing to something and that changes their their variable resistor and that current the resistance changes with light and with darkness so that's um, one reason they wire things in like that we can just use it as a number input for light uh, but you need to kind of figure out what range of numbers you're getting for it so you know and then play around where to put your cutoff points now the code for it and again just real simple I created a variable called light and I grabbed the analog pin analog read pin zero and I set light to that value from that pin and then my, in my statements I've got the you know I put the set light again in there I have to have it here I don't necessarily have to have it on on start I like initializing things um, I have to have it here so that when it comes back to the top of the loop it's going to set it to a new number. And then I just have it displaying in two places. I have it displaying on the uh, micro bit and I have it displaying on an LCD. Just because I do. Uh, and then it's, it's just going to keep looping and it's going to just keep reading. Uh, some people like to put in like a pause at the bottom there, uh, give a slight uh, pause in the reading. Whatever is the logic that you need for your program. So it's simple things to hook up. Um, just two female to female jumper cables and that is the thing that it is it's called a photocell or a photoresistor